Hello and welcome back to another edition of Sold Out with myself, AGT. Now today I'm joined by a person who's more known for lacing up football boots than trainers. He's played for Fulham, Sunderland, Tottenham, Derby, Villa, to name a few, <laughs> and England as well, where he scored four international goals which is only really four more than I scored for England, it's Darren Bent. Up. How are you doing, sir? I'm on, good, you? It's very good to see you. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm right, to be fair. Nice yeah? to be here. Yes, it's good. OK, look, straight off the bat, let me get the ballpark figure of, of the amount of sneakers you have, because everyone knows in, in the game that you're a big sneaker head. It's mm. no secret. So let's, let's just chuck a number out there and we can all just take it in. Well, to be fair, obviously, when I was obviously collecting week in monthly, like uh, doing big boxes, yeah. I was probably at about 2,500 at my highest. But probably now, I'll probably sitting about between 1,000 and 1,500. Okay, like so you're still moving heavy numbers. Yeah, I though. still pick up like now, whereas before I'd pick up everything that I wanted, whereas now it's like kind of in moderation. So yeah. like I'll get, if I see something I really, really want and can be appreciated, then I'll go and get it. So when did it start for you? When did the passion really kick in? Well, probably when I was about 15 to 20, okay. you know, I met a guy called James Ellis, and he's a big trainer collector. Like okay. He was a big trainer collector. Is that your plug? But, no, he's not a plug, he's but he, plug. he put me onto a lot of my plugs. Okay, so, cool, you know, I'm cool, cool. when you go through him, but he was the one telling me about certain trainers. And I used to laugh, some of the shoes used to wear, I used to laugh at him. Yeah. Like, I, I, I apologise to him for that, because I used to laugh and go, what, what are you wearing? Now you see the vision. But now I see that he was years ahead of the game, yeah, because yeah. he had some of the shoes that, now, if you, obviously, if you, if you saw that shoe now, it's worth big, big money. Mm. So he was the one who kind of got me into it, told me to stick with it, and then I just kind of fell in love with it, started picking up, you know I mean, Air Max One was, was my shoe, and still is my shoe that I started picking up, and just went from there, really. Yeah. Now, you've obviously been in a few changing rooms yourself. Mm. Who are the footballers in terms of uh, ones you've played with or ones you've played against, maybe, who you thought, he's got amazing trainers on, and I need these? And who's the other big collectors out there in the scene that, that you knew? Uh, I mean, I never was fortunate enough to play with anyone who was a big trainer collector. Like, obviously, a lot of footballers, they, they like trainers. They mm. like to collect. I mean, they don't really necessarily know the background or the history yeah. of the shoe, but they just like because it looks good. So I never really got the opportunity to play with anyone, but the, the one guy I knew was out there was a, a big time collector was with Ben Foster. Ben Foster. And, uh, yeah, and I know he took his stuff to the next level because I'd seen pictures of, of in his house him having his trainers in glass cabinets. And obviously, we got a few of the same plugs as well, what we did. So obviously, it was about who was getting to him first. Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. was going to pick up the shoe. But what never, size was he? I think he's a nine, I think. Okay, so you were, yeah, you're so, a ten. So but listen, you? if I have to dip into that nine bracket a couple of times, you've got to do it. I don't know, you're, you're big into Yeezys. I've seen you with some uh, Travis Scott AJ4s as well, and also mm. some Wotherspoons, and the list goes on. In terms of your rotations at the minute, I know you're, earlier you were saying that you have five, and then you pick mm. one to wear that day. What's your sort of top five rotations at the minute, would you say? Uh, right now, it's probably, yeah, I've got the Travis, Travis Scott, so I'm not really wearing them too much, to be fair. Probably the, the shoe right now that I'm probably wearing more than anything is probably my patchwork vans. Okay. Just because at the moment they seem to go with everything. So slip them on and slip off. Slip them off on and off. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to keep wearing them because I'm battering a laugh. Yeah. I don't <laughs> like to do that to a shoe, but yeah, they're in the rotation. Obviously, they're using the rotation, but I, I don't really like to. Like a class uses a shoe, but I don't really like to. Like I don't. For me personally, if you start collecting these new Yeezys, you're not really a collector because That's they, they sell them everywhere. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So they're not particularly hard to get hold of now. So. I still collect them because they're comfortable to wear, but they're not one of my. I wouldn't say they're one of my favourite shoes. I prefer using them when they were Nike. Okay. But the. Uh, That's a big statement. Yeah, I prefer them when they were Nike. Well, I've always said that. And um, but no, yeah, probably the Vans, the Yeezys are in there. A uh, few off-white the Prestos, they're in there. A couple of Jordans. Yeah. Just keep rotating between them, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of heat on your feet, should you have a little look around, see what yeah. you're feeling? Yeah. yeah. Cool, man. Cool. Let's go. So in terms of sneakers that you like and maybe ones that you're not so keen on, I wanted to show you the up tempos. Now these are a pair that you pointed out as soon as we got in here. Mm. What what is it that um, takes your fancy for these ones here? Because they're quite a loud shoe. They are. Which you have to admit. To be fair, they're just, I think it's just back in the day watching basketball back in the day. Obviously, Scotty Pippen. It's this shoe. Scotty Pippen. Um, just the way they, they look. I know a lot of people look at them and go, "I'm mad," because obviously look at look at them, but. I think it's just obviously old hip hop as well. I remember obviously I'm into hip hop, so old hip hop artists. I remember we them wearing it. Yeah. And then obviously I remember being when I first managed to get a pair, when I could afford a pair, I managed to buy a pair, and obviously they, I battered the life out of them, so they went. Um, and then I was buzzing, obviously when they, they re-released them, and I managed to get a couple of pairs, and I still rock them today. So for me, they're just a comfortable shoe, even though they probably don't look it. They are a comfortable shoe. I like the way they look, and it's obviously got history behind it as well. So yeah, it's definitely one of my. My favourite Nikes, to be fair. Which um, colourway are you feeling the most? The this one. Yeah, the black and yeah. the black and Me white. Me too, to be fair. The black and white. Although there's a pair out there, a luminous green, 
and black and they're serious. Yeah, they're, they're loud. Loud, but they're serious. They will light up a dance yeah. when you walk in. <laughs> <laughs> so you obviously said Air Max 1's are your favourite chassis, I'd have to agree with you. Here we've got the curries, we've got the olives here as well, but talk to me about what makes this shoe so special for you. Just because how iconic it is and how obviously it was a pair I picked up like at the very, very start when I was, I was collecting and there was them, I'm trying to think it was another two, new, new, another two coloured ways and I can't remember what they were, but the curries were the, the original one where I wanted to get after, I wanted to trying to get my foot in the door, yeah. that was the one I tried to go after. Yeah. And obviously I managed to get it, but when I bought a pair from someone, like the air bubble was yellow, I think there was a couple of holes in them, but just because I wanted to, to have a pair, I, I suppose, bought I suppose when you want a trainer so badly, you kind of, you, you're happy to take it in any condition it, it, it comes. Any condition to feel, but I'm, obviously later on down the line, I managed to find a fresh pair, but it's kind of like, obviously I love this shoe, but it's, it kind of kills me that they've then re-released it again. Mm. Do you know what so I mean? So it kind of takes away the specialness. It, it does, yeah, because when you obviously go after a shoe for so long and you manage to get it, like, you're so happy about it, but now obviously Nike, what they're doing, especially with, like, with the Air Maxes, and even the Jordans, they're now starting to, all these classics, they're now starting to re-release and re-release them, and it's, it's kind of killing the whole, the whole trend of vibe off, to be fair, for yeah. me anyway. And especially on Air Max Day as well, I mean, I know earlier you, you mentioned these ones, mm -hmm. uh, the ones with the 90 sole. Are you a fan of these? No, I don't really like when they cross. I, I like, yeah, just the Air Max 1 or just the Air Max 90. To be honest. Yeah. I do like Air Max 90s, but... When they, when they try and do, and I get why obviously they do it, do you know what I mean? It's marketing brands and all stuff like that, but for me, I like to keep the Air Max 1 separate and the 90 completely separate. But it is a nice shoe, but this shoe just not, obviously not for me. In terms of the colourway though? Oh yeah, the colourway is iconic. Colorway. Yeah, 100%, yeah. It's the original, do you know what I mean, from way back in the day. So you're a fan of yeah, this? Yeah, I like safaris, yeah. Always feel, sometimes it's a bit uncomfortable on my feet, but I do like a safari. I like the original black and, the black and orange. Yeah. Made, but they, they, this colour's nice way, I mean. The grey in the middle is not really, not really doing it for me, but... For me, I always thought they were kind of like a, I know it sounds bad, but like a poor man's Air, Air Max 1. Yeah. Is that fair or is that not fair? No, I can't, because probably back in the day I would have said the same thing. Yeah. But obviously when, obviously my friend told me about the history of the shoe and then he showed me types of the shoe that you could get. And uh, I mean, I've got this Safari with no tick on the side of mine at home. Okay. So... So that's some real... Yeah, so I, I do like the Safaris. They're, they're a nice shoe to be fair, they are comfortable. But obviously, as I said, I've had the, the choice between them and the Max 1. Then. Yeah, it's got to be the Max 1. It's got to be the Max 1. All day me. long. So we've obviously had a little nosy around the store. Um, for instance, the 98s, are you feeling these? Because I know you've had your eye on a, a couple on this table, but do you like these ones? Yeah, they're not bad. I mean, I've, I've got a pair of 98s and they, they kind of hurt my feet. Okay. Fair. But some, some of the colourways are, are really nasty. I do like a couple of them, but I wouldn't say they're one of my, my favourite shoes, no. Okay, well look, if you were to pick two shoes to walk away from here today with, what are they? One would definitely be the... Definitely the Vapor Max. Definitely. In that colourway. This colourway in the Japan, yes. Yeah, but like for some reason, I love the colourway. Also, I love the Vapor Max, the sole. But for some reason, the, the colours just, for me, just go. Yeah. So It's oh, a classic. It's a classic yeah. shoe, yeah. And just, for me, I don't even know what it is, but from the, moment I, from the moment I seen it, leaves were dropping, I tried to get a pair. And they're just magnetising. Magnetising me, yeah. Something about the shoe. I mean, I've tried a couple on, they're, they're nice. They're really, really comfortable shoe and they look good. So these are definitely one. So that's one. In terms of the second pair that you take away. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be these. It wouldn't be those. <laughs> it wouldn't be them. It wouldn't be those. But it'd have to be... Mm. And he's picked these two and he's seen maybe a hundred pairs in the store today. So these two, yeah. they're classics, but this is what you've gone for. Yeah, the 95s, yeah. I, I love this shoe, I love the colourway. Um, I never actually picked up a pair of these before, to be honest, but I've had a, I've had a couple of original pairs. But these, for some reason, I really like this colourway as well. Again, I think they go really well. Um, they are they are a comfortable shoe. Yeah. And uh, they're a bit understated as well, which I quite like, to be fair. They're not too loud, so... But yeah. you like them? I like them, yeah. Listen, you like them, so do you know what? I'm going to buy them for you. Hopefully my card doesn't get declined. <laughs> this has been all today. It's myself and Darren Bent right here on Sold Out. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>